this is just about two pages. Uh, I would need uh, a longer time with you. And so may I start by just uh, rattling off the cabinet members, Executive Secretary Salvador Mijaldia and the members of the cabinet, our newly appointed government officials, mga kasamahan ko sa gobyerno, ang minamahal kong mga kababayan. In the newspaper reports today, there seems to be an apparent, uh, well, it's an allegation that uh, a, a daughter-in-law of mine visited customs. Uh, she is not a Duterte, she is a Sumor, uh, Sonera, Sumera. And uh, I haven't seen that one for the last 10 years. Nag-ano yan siya eh, unang asawa ng ni Pulong. Pulong, the vice mayor now of Davao City, mm, eloped with a Maranao lady whose age was 24. Tinana niya, o tinanan si Pulong, o tinanan niya yung anak ko, kasi 40, 18 years old lang, at nawala yan sa kamay ko. Uh, one of my uh, sad uh, events in my life, because I never saw him for more than five years, until yung nalaman ko na nagkaroon na ako ng apo. So I sought him out and made peace with him. Naghiwalay na yan sila. She is now married to a Sumera. And uh, si Pulong naman, just like the father, married another woman for a second time. Pero ganun lang ang buhay. Na ito naman si Mans uh, Carpio, Ang tatay niya, kapatid niya, si Ombudsman uh, Morales, Carpio Morales. Uh, ito, abogado ito. Long before yung mighty, ano, mighty king, ang office nila ang naghandle niyan. I don't know if uh, Bebot Bellio has divested his interest there, but sila yung mga puro Ilocano, Bebot Bellio, marami yan sila. At ang anak ko was lawyering for uh, the mighty king. Eh, siyempre, piliin mo yung clinting may pera. Pero sabi ko, kung hanggang dyan, okay lang sabi ko. It's lawyering. Nobody can question us, and even I, when as a matter of fact, it is just part of uh, our uh, profession, our vocation as a lawyer. Alam naman natin mga baga, babugado. Pero wala kaming tinang. At ang sinabi ko naman sa inyo, if any of my children, at right, sabi ko sa pinalanan ko na kaagad, si Mayor Sara, si Pulong, pati si Sebastian, Kung yan ang pumasok doon sa may hiningi na illegal or graft and corruption, I told you before, I am ready to step down as president. I will not hesitate and cling to power when it is no longer productive of me as a human being. Gusto ko lang malaman na yan. Wala akong illusions dyan sa Presidente, Presidente. As a matter of fact, uh, if I were to turn back the hands of time, I would have decided differently. Maybe. Maybe. Yan ang ano ko. So, I am now scouting around yung PCGG kasi is focused on the worst of Marcos. Uh, Nagpagkita yung pamilya, and there's a, I have to yet to select the guy, para walang duda. Baka sabihin na naman, nag-house siya, there's a back channeling. But, uh, the Marcoses, I do, I will not name the spokesman. 
sabi nila na they'll open everything and probably return yung nakita lang. Sabi nila na malaki ang deficit mo sa maybe this year ang projected deficit spending would be big, sabi nila. Baka makatulong. Pero hindi ito malaki. But we are ready to open and bring back sabi niya, pati yung if you gold bars. Hindi ganun kalaki. It's not if Fort Knox. It's just if you, but sabi nila, isa uli nila. Para walang ano. And the only reason really was, sabi nila, that uh, the father was protecting the economy. And of course, the eventual kung maalis siya. But he was thought of uh, regaining the Malacanian, and that is why ganito ang lumabas, parang naitago. I will accept the explanation. Whether or not it is to it, wala na eh. And they are ready to return. How much they would give me an accounting? Trying to look for a guy not identified with anybody to handle uh, the negotiation kung gusto nila. I'm looking at the former Chief Justice. Sila na lang mag-usap. Then another uh, uh, CPA and uh, maybe a representative of uh, all that is uh, accepted also by all. Para, so that uh, tatlong tao yan mag-usap sa kanila. And then they are ready. And I'm happy na we come with them clean breast. Make uh, something that is really worthwhile for the Filipino. You know explanation ago. I do not have a daughter by the name of uh, lovely Duterte. Ang daughter in loco is uh, uh, she, she January. I think she was born January. But she is not uh, Immoral. She's a Christian. Espanyol nga ang salita. Ito naman kay Mans. I do not apologize for him because he's a lawyer. And every lawyer knows that. That's our job. The richer the client, the better. So you can die early, die early or retire early. So yan po ang uh, ang for today's consumption. But sabi ko, nilimit ko doon sa mga anak ko kasi wala akong control sa ibang tao. Eh, for example, just like my son-in-law was a lawyer and it is perfectly all right for him to say anybody. I mean, if just going to the BIR in connection with the case of your client, I do not begrudge for that. Eh, trabaho ko rin naman niya. We have to protect the interest of our client. That's our oath of office as lawyer. Eh, ito namang babae yan pumunta dyan. Excuse me, she's not, she's not my daughter. Hindi ko ba nung gang yan. Diyan nga ako nagkaroon ng sugat sa puso. No? Imagine your 18-year-old son eloping with a 24 tapos. Manhirapan tala, yun ay katapos. Ang sabi ko, nilimit ko dyan sa mga anak ko kasi yan ang control ko. Mga anak na mga pinsan ko, wala na ako doon. <laughs> Hindi ko nakaya yung ikontrol ko anong gustong hanap buhay gamitin nila sa mundong ito. I could only answer for my daughter. Daughters, dalawa na pala yan pati sa mga anak kong lalaki. And anyway, that was what I said during the first. If you remember, it was very specific in the names. Kasi yung iba hindi ko kaya. Itong si Lovely, they separated 10 years ago. I haven't seen her for the longest time. Uh, mga anak nila nandoon sa kanya. So, not the kind of event that would prompt me to insist on resigning. Pero kung sabi ko sa mga anak ko, if they are into it, 
just uh, call my attention, remind me of my commitment, and I will resign. Hindi ako yung kapito ko. That's one. The second one is, um, itong PCGG kasi is focused on the Marcos wealth. Gusto ko tanggalin, pero baka sabihin naman ng mga tao, on the verge of discovering something, kaya na nga, binuwag na tuloy yung, ano, binuwag na tuloy yung PCGG. But I will create another office. Uh, itong, I, I, I just name him uh, good, good government, pero meron na kasi maybe an anti-graft. And I'm looking for uh, somebody to handle. May yung anak ni Belio, ni Belio, ni Bebot, siguro kaya niyang hawakan. Ayaw mo? I'm really looking for somebody. Kung may makuha ako na Um, meron kong gustong kunin pero hindi na papayag yan justice talaga one or two or three and maybe a lady na yung not identified with me nor identified with the other group I need I need somebody na ano kasi matagal yan uh, si Justice Sereno made insinuations that siya yung tinuturo ko. Actually, uh, none of the above. I was just uh, generic yun. For those guys, sinabi ko na when I said there's, there's uh, a lady in, uh, at ako naman, I rely on documents that are given to us here in the palace. I, I, I do not I do not put a premium of truth in it. Actually, but something that is transmitted to us officially, and when it, if that is the situation, I have to make it public. I cannot make it a secret because then people will say, "Pinalam namin niya, wala na maginawa." But ayong sabi niya na trips niya abroad, I don't know. Uh, what from uh, what I gathered from the papers was that she was traveling first class. E kami, masyagin ang congressman ako, we were allowed to travel. And ang pwede lang sa amin really is business class. But if the airline decides to upgrade you because you're a congressman, ganon, well and good. But public money spends only for a yung mura na business class at yung mga kwarto na sa hotel such an ordinary room we are not supposed to be occupying a suite the only problem at baka mabalikan ninyo ako when I go out of the country and visit uh, uh, nations sila yung nagre-reserve ng kwarto Uh, usually, it's the presidential suite because there's a room, an, a receiving room, tapos dalang kwarto, security mo, pati yung iyo. Kaya may caveat ako dyan. I am also, pero karamihan kasi binabayaran ng host country. The offer na sila na ang mag... So, yan ang... Yan, para malaman ng Pilipino kung ano ang laro ng buhay sa Pilipinas. Uh, itong isa, I will read the official. Ano, is, uh, bakit ang ombudsman? Matagal na siya dyan, natapos na lang ito si Aquino, why can't they just wind up the cases against the senators? This is not a brief. Hindi ko man kapartido yan si Estrada o pati si sino itong isa? Tagakabite? Hindi naman. 
But yung kaso nila hanggang ngayon, you know, it's sauce for the goose, sauce for the gander. If you allow a certain person to post a bail, there is absolutely no ground, legal or otherwise, na bakit yung iba hindi mo rin gawin? The latest is uh, Gringo Hunasan. Gringo ran sa, ano, wala kaming ano, but naawa ako sa kanya because uh, hindi klaro eh. At ang bating average ng conviction, sinabi ko na sa inyo, sa ombudsman, cases file, is 2 to 8. 8 is acquittal to ang conviction. Bihira. At itong mga ombudsman, I was once uh, also a, an accused sa ombudsman. Corrupt rin talaga yan sila, ang mga investigator. I'm telling you. And I can bring forth the record at tabasahin nila ulit. But eventually, ako, hindi ako, hindi talaga ako pumayap. Naghingi siya, sabi ko, I told him, anong kasalanan ko dyan? I'm a prosecutor. So eventually, umabot ako sa Supreme Court. But at a great expense, sa abogado. And I was exonerated. Ang maawa ako dyan, itong style ng grab and corruption sa ating bansa pag nag, sinabi ng mayor, tawagin ka, pirmahan mo to, yung auditor pa dito, sir, automatic pipirma yan. Kung magsabi na yung mayor, e, pokang ina to, ano, ano ba? And yet, the other ones, naluluto, malaman nila yan eh, magpunta ng, wala pa namang barko. Wala na yung barko, Davao, flying Davao, Manila. So they had to go to another province, board the ship there. Makita mo yung barong nila na puro putas na. And only to be acquitted. Yan ang mahirap sa file ng file ng file. So many cases that they cannot handle. Basta pagsabi na dyan, there being a prima facie file mo lang yan. Para may output lang. At the great, great expense of the human emotion. Hindi ba ka? Tapos yung iba, uh, yung defavored uh, nila, hanggang yan, hindi pa na ito yung inuna yung mga kalaban. Tawa ako dito kay Greg. Because, sabi ko, then the measure of standard of granting bail and whatever legal remedy is available. You give it. Give it to the others and give it to your enemies. Para kaya itong dalawang without really casting as, uh, alam mo, itong mga justice Supreme Court, wala akong problema. But the way things are being run, kagaya na itong sa consensitive Dumaan na yung ilang expert. Tapos sabihin ni Sirino na it's a uh, it causes abortion. And yet, nagbili na tayo ng medisina expecting that uh, it would uh, you know, be needed by government to para maumpisahan na. And until now, two years ago, nag-expire na yung medisina Sereno is sitting on it. What's the problem, ma'am? Gumastos na tayo, bumili na tayo ng medisina. Tapos, nag-expire na lang. Uh, a simple three sentences would say, if you are going to deny it. We deny it because it is an abort abortive uh, substance. Hanggang yung wala. And yet, you call us for the slow movement of... There is something terribly wrong in our country, I'll tell you. Very, very wrong. Me, I have my faults, plenty. 
Pero not enough to sabihin mo na mag-resign ako dahil nagtanggap ako ng pera ni Loto. Yung, I do not go into it. If it's my son that's lawyering, I will not interfere. Yang si Mrs. Sumera is not a Duterte, mind you. At ang sinabi ko na sa inyo noon, noon pa, I, 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 I can distinctly remember I said, if somebody goes to your office mentioning my name, dropping my name, consider the subject matter denied. And do not allow my son or daughter to enter into your office to talk about something. You can always stand up, open the door and say, Mom, sir, Mr. Duterte, Mayor Duterte, the door is open. Kindly go out. Yan lang naman ang hinay ko sa inyo. At sinabi ko, kung kayo yung magpayag, budyakan ko rin kayo. Bakit kayo pumayag? I will go after you for consenting to a corruption not only by you, but including my children. I-demanda na ninyo. Wala akong pakialam dyan sa... I have sacrificed this far thus far to remain floating in public office now. I said I've never lost an election from the time I won the vice mayorship in 1987 until the presidency. Bakit ko sayangan yan? Ano ba naman ang gusto mo pang sa buhay? Yun lang. Wala akong ano, kudos uh, Simple lang ang gusto ko. Quiet life. I'm satisfied with my house. And uh, still good. Uh, second, I only have one daughter. Pagkasya na sa amin yan. Wala akong... Yung, yung piso mo manalo sa akin ng whatever my property worth one million, it's yours kung may makita ka sa akin na uh, kalukuhan. The wheels of justice grind to a halt when those tasked to dispense it have friends to serve and debts of gratitude to pay, no matter what. The lack of moral courage to do what is right and act beyond those twin feelings ends up in inequitable decisions. Scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. Here's how some people describe it. It is to me detestable. Everyone calls for due process and the dispension of justice without fear or favor. But sad to say, Recent events show that no less than the office of the ombudsman, which is supposedly the embodiment of everything that is just, fair, and reasonable, has not exactly lived up to its constitutional mandate. And may I add, her hold to the office is very, very precarious. You're supposed to serve the remaining terms of the guy who resigned, not to a full term. That is very clear under the law. That it has not been questioned until now, I do not know why. Ako naman kasi balae ko ang kapatid niya. Yung tatay ni Mans. So mabuti yung open open. Ayoko i-mention in public, but since we are talking about what is right and what is wrong, then maybe we should talk about everything, sparing no one. The office of the Ombudsman rightly stresses the importance of due process of law. Yet it cannot act on complaints with the cold neutrality of an impartial tribunal, which is basically required in due process. 
It seems that the office of the Ombudsman has mastered the art of selective justice. Harsh on some, soft on others, even when they all suffer from similar and analogous circumstances. Slow to act on complaints against the friendly, but quick to decide against perceived hostiles. The enemy of the ombudsman, the enemy of the ombudsman's friend, is the uh, is the ombudsman's enemy too. So it seems. This is how I see it from where I stand. When I took my oath of office in June 30, 2016, I said that one principle of governance I abide with in running the affairs of my administration is contained in the saying thus, I have no friends to serve. I have no enemies to harm. I am beholden to no one save my conscience. I can only wish that the ombudsman would go beyond the friendship bonds and adopt the aforecoated principle as a governing rule in the performance of its constitutional mandate. I implore you that justice be done. It is not yet late in the day to do that. Let the remaining months of your incumbency be truly reflective of your mandate to do justice to every man without favor or bias. That said, let us now go to another equally important item. When everything wrong is detected in the way an equipment or machinery runs, it is either, it is either one takes immediate steps to repair it or stops using it temporarily least its defect worsens or affects other parts of the equipment. In the meantime, public service suffers. When there is an urgent need to acquire equipment, parts, material supplies, etc., to meet contingencies to improve public service, any delay in the procurement of those items could result in advanced consequences that is pub, that, uh, that, and it is the public who bears the consequence and sufferance. It is the government that gets pilloried and crucified. Alamo, it's high time. I hope Congress uh, is listening. Alamo, yang lowest bid is the culprit of them all. Yang lowest bid na yan is the source of all corruption and the efficiency and the inadequacy of government to meet its public works commitment. Kasi yung lowest bid, yung highest bid, well, I do not have to mention, but you know, Konsonghe, Ayala, uh, etc. may equipment, may tao, may capital. Then yung, the next, uh, ang lowest bid itong wala, laway lang yan, tang, Pag nakuha niya yung lowest bid, wala may ang kapital, walang equipment, wala lahat. Eh, eh, subcontract niya yan. Kunin niya kanya yung kanya. So, nandiyan na. Kunin pa ng office of the president, kunin pa yung technical, mayor, hanggang doon sa barangay captain, pati barangay captain kasi magperma ng public work. Doon nagkaletse-letse. So yung 100 million mo, 40 million is about, yun lang ang babalik sa tao. Kasabi ko sa kanila, kunin mo, alam mo bakit ganito? It's now August. Last year, I became kunin mo yung resignation ni Indaibong. 
Alam mo itong babae kong anak na ito. Baka gusto ninyo sabihin na gusto namin sa gobyerno. I was, I took my oath of office June 30. So I reported August 1. August 5, pumunta na ako ng butit, tinago natin ito. Pumunta na ako ng AFP Viluna. So, marami akong sakit eh. Nasubukan ko na lahat. Sabi ko, mayroon ba kayong MRI? Wala. AFP Medical Center. Mayroon ba kayong hyperbaric to arrest the spread of gangrene? Wala. Lahat. Sabi ko, oh, sige. Ang good that men, uh, si Sir Binjok no, was there. He kept on nodding. Okay yan, okay. Lumaligaya ako. Gave them half, half a billion. Tapos yung main building ng hospital nila, yung drainage, umakyat na yung... Sabi ko, put, pa, 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 paano magagaling itong mga sundalo kong ganito? But that is why in my suna sinabi, if this is the way how you treat your soldier, can a codita be far behind? The, kasi, nag, meron kami ng hospital dyan, dispensary lang sa PSG. Minor, ano, o yung mga sugat na sugatan, nagpapahinga dyan. Alam mo, hanggang ngayon, August na, wala pa ang makinarya. Walang MR, walang hyperbaric. Kaya in my, in my speech, sinabi ko, abat narinig niyo, OBR, you change the process or I will change you. But it is really Congress who can put a stop to it. Go for the qualitative essence of a bidding. Kasi yung lowest bid, lowest bid, will promote, the, will hasten the per perdition of this country. Kaya uh, talaga, kaya I was talking, uh, I was not joking, but I am not into it. For the Philippines to really go up, sabi ko, ang kailangan ng mga tao is Not Marcelo. Go for, inawa ni Corey, revolutionary government. Pero huwag kayong magtingin sa akin, hindi ako pwede dyan. Na you declare all positions of the government vacant and change all. Ang mali lang kasi ni Ma'am Aquino was, binigay niya uli sa mga politiko. So, balik. It was the golden opportunity. Let me also say that uh, hindi naman pwede yung That is why I say that when procurement laws and rules tend to unduly delay or derail instead of hasten the implementation of government projects or programs Turn the time has come to change or amend them to keep in step with the changing times. Experience tell us that the lowest bid is not necessarily the best. And I'm telling you, as mayor for 22 years, congressman for 40 years, one term being the vice mayor of my daughter, talagang itong bidding is... Punta ka dito sa mga subdivision. Ay, ay, ayaw kong ano yun kasi no offense intended. I'm just being factual and true to myself. Punta ka dito sa Manila o sa probinsya. Sino ang magagandang bahay? Sino yung nasa upscale subdivision? Does it cost tons? Itong BIR. Wala talagang katapusan. Ang... Dito magsabi na, na do 35 years lang. Kaya nga, 
experience tells us that the lowest bid is not necessarily the best. The quality of service, durability of materials, purpose of procurement, and the amount of the bid, though not the lowest, must go together. At first blush, the lowest bid may appear cheap, but on the long term, it can be more expensive than anyone could think of, or could imagine. Nasabi ko kasi na hindi kami sa politika, pati ako. I and my daughter, the last election, won in Daisara as mayor. On June 30, nag-oath ako, nandito yung mga anak ko, sila. Iniwan Inday, pagkatapos ng oath ko, bigay ko sa inyo. His Excellency, Excellency po ang tawag tatay niya, Rodrigo Roan, magtawag sa akin, Mayor, nasaan si Mayor? Your Excellency Rodrigo Roa Duterte, President Republic of the Philippines, Office of the President, Malacanian Palace, Manila. I hereby tender my irrevocable resignation as Mayor of the City of Davao, effective immediately. I cannot dev devote my full commitment to do my work, and I am unable to discharge the functions of the office due to personal and health reasons. Media can have this uh, after. Ang sabihin ninyo, kami na sa... Nag-resign na, it took me several days to... Masima silang. Pero yan, anytime pag na... na Napiste ang utak din, aalis siya. But then, that is the only side of the situation. The other side is... Uh, There is another side. Allow me, therefore, to think loud in this regard. Could it be that the problem is not really our procurement laws and rules, but the people task with their implementation? Other procurement laws are good, they say. It is therefore people charged with the implementation of those rules that is the problem. Stated otherwise, the problem is the singer and not the song. I have heard one of one department whose goods, supplies, and materials are purchased mostly through negotiated contracts due to alleged failure of the public bidding, and that amazes me to no end. I was informed that some way or somehow some kind of arrangement or modus operandi, operandi somebody pronounce it, if you will, is to con contrive between members of the BAC on one hand and the bidder contractors on the other to manipulate processes and intentionally make it public bidding fail. <coughs> that resort to negotiated contracts that can be availed of. And this is where favored people and interests make their day. In conspiracy, of course, with department officials and BAC members. And this has to stop. One day, I'll catch up with you, God willing, if I'm around, and your heads will roll. Do not betray my trust. Do not betray the people's trust. Like someone wrong, once lost trust is seldom, if ever, regained. That is why I shall be creating an anti-graft commission soon to investigate complaints of corruption in government. At ito is uh, a bulan ng panahon. I do not want investigations to last more than one month. If there's something wrong in the contract, you can see it directly. The problem is you have to file it with the ombudsman. And that is where the game begins again. The Leo Rodas. I'm not saying that all. I'm not even, I'm not even saying, I could, not, I could not say that uh, morality is involved. But huwag kayong maniwala niyang ombudsman na yan. 
dumaan ako dyan. Long time ago. Alam mo yung kurabang ko sa politika, demanda na demanda. But ako, wala ako sabi ko, I'm not in the habit of uh, uh, anuhin ko yung mga kalaban ko. Sabi ko na, bahala kayo dyan. O, ako patapos at nalo naman ako. That is why I shall be creating the Antigraph Commission to investigate complaints of corruption in government. Aside from the results of the investigation support by competent evidence, I shall either suspend or dismiss presidential appointees. For the time, let us go slow in hiring of consultants. Meron ditong opisina about four consultants. Ang bayad niya is 200 per consultant. Tapos, siyempre may mag-interview na Sus Mario Josep. Kakasabi ko lang eh. Yung sweldo ninyo, pati yung magdaan dyan sa Malacanian. It's either joke, no, sunny, and... What, four consultants, 200,000. Mas malaki pa sa sweldo ko ang buang, Sus Mario Josep. Eh kung ganun, di, hindi na sana ako nag presidente na consultant na lang ako. We have experts in government from whom you can consult when you need arises. Avail of their expertise, seek their assistance. But if you cannot really avoid hiring consultants, then it would be good if you moderate their fees. Excessive fees cut into the budget. Be careful with public funds. It is not money. It is not money that you are at liberty to spend at the people's expense. Let me end by welcoming you into the administration. Expect to work with all of you up to the end of my term. Pula ako kung ano sa inyo. I mean, uh, thus far, this far, I, I think uh, we're good. But sinabi ko lang talaga sa inyo na. Ako yung medyo sa talagang matindi ako dyan because I was once a fiscal, a prosecutor. And uh, I was also one of the two panod ba yan, the predecessor of uh, Ombudsman. Dalawa lang kami sa Mindanao. I was one of them. Kaya ako yung umiikot ng Mindanao, nagpo-prosecute ng kaso. Kaya ko talaga nang iniiwasan ko yan kasi nakakahiya eh. Titindig ka dyan pong babasahan ka ng demanda ng pagnanakaw. Uh, o kung naman kung hindi totoo, but you know, it's, it's a very humiliating thing. And I dread the day na ako rin. Kaya maingat ako sa iyong mga ganun. Itong mga tao talaga malalakas. And uh, di, ang problema kasi, Hindi kayo. The entire government service for the comfort of it, the man. So, nasa inyo yan. Noble is here. I was around and he was uh, a rebel of Mindanao. And his complaint was corruption. Danny, is here. Nagrebelde sila because of corruption. Kaya kinukuha ko sila, sabi ko, tumulong kayo. At baka, ito kasi demokrasya, hindi ko solo. But if you are, at least, uh, there will be mitigations in how the money of the people are spent. Ako na una ako, nag-divulge na ako. Na ano. I said, I repeat, uh, that uh, lovely Sumera is not my daughter-in-law. Mans, uh, the husband of Inday, is a lawyer. Hindi na, hindi, wala tayo kasali dyan. Basi kami mga abogado. Pag abogado ka, lawyering, it is not part of the problem. It is part of our democracy. Yan ang istorya niya. So, kayo, inasahan ko naman kayo at uh, sana magtulong-tulungan tayo. Ay, ayaw ko talaga yung corruption. 
Bahala na bumagsak ako. Uh, if there is a ground for having more than two wives, then I'll plead guilty. I will not wait for the impeachment to succeed. I will call focus its failure by just going away. Yan ang... So, Dan Noble, welcome to... Then you'll find out really how we can improve. At least, wag na lang yung ano na yung pera ng gobyerno hindi ma-dissipate. Ma'am, ano bang trabaho mong bago? Kasi naghahanap ako ng may mabakante. DSWD is uh, vacant. Uh, hindi ako nang um, ni ano, ni ano. Hindi galing sa akin yung sabi na ginamit yung pera ni Tigualo. We did not uh, do nothing on sa kamay ng mga congressman sa mga, well, of course, from military, maybe. But then galing sa akin yun. Otherwise, I would not have uh, reappointed and reappointed her. Eh, kasi doon sa kampo ng NPA, may nakuha silang yung mga envelope na doon nakapasok yung pangtawid. Ako, kung may sinabi ko naman to, let me be very clear. To the communists, makinig kayo. Wala akong pakialam kung yung pera nakatanggap in PA na mahirap. O law-abiding citizen sa barangay na mahirap. Puro yun ang ilangan ng kain. I don't give kung ano ang ginawa nila sa pera. Ang akin lang sana, huwag ka magbili ng bala, pati baril. Ba't sa liit naman na bagay na yan, ibigay mo sa mga mahirap? Eh, panahon pa ba sila mag-isip niyan? Kaya, uh, Secretary Tigualo, you, you're barking at the wrong tree. That is what I told the military. I'm not so concerned about money reaching the hands of the NPAs, especially if that money bought uh, something to it. Wala ako dyan. Pero pagdating na, nagpadala yan doon sa, nagkalat yan sa Congress. Huwag mo akong, sa akin okay lang. Because I used to do that when I was mayor. Maghingi ng medisina, maghingi ng pagkain, pinapadala ko. Nga, magbili ka ng bala pati baril, eh, problema mo yan kung patayin ka ng sundalo. Pero, marami kasing lumalabas na yan, hindi nga tama. Wala, ako wala ako. Basta ako, Pilipino ka, period. Pilipino ka, gutom ka, o sige, may pagkain. Pilipino ka, doon ka sa komunista, magbili ka ng bala, eh, pum -pum, pinatay ka ng military, problema mo yan. Ganun ka, simple ako. And I have to defend this, you know, my out of office, and everybody else is here, It's simply that you have to protect the people and defend the integrity of the Republic of the Philippines, period. Wala niya ang Marcelo, Marcelo na yan. Means nothing. Although my advice to a president who wants to change, do not go for Marcelo. Gawain lang isyo. Go for a revolutionary government para tapos lahat. Ngayon ka dahil, kung magawa ni Corey, bakit hindi mo magawa? Bakit? May monopoly ba dito sa pagmahal natin sa bayan? Yun lang, I've taken most of your time this afternoon, but I have to explain my position to otherwise. Mahirap na mula ang kinang believe sa inyong appointing power. Otherwise, I think you'll not be working for me. Uh, salamat po. Salamat. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Mr. President, for your message.